Hope I can get this done before Peter gets home. Amulets are objects or devices used principally for protection against harm, misfortune, or the evil eye. Unlike talismans, which are made for a specific purpose. Hi everyone, it's Erlene from Erlene Garcia Art. And today I want to share with you an idea that I had of a glass bottle talisman. Now I created these for fertility, for money, for love. I need to create one for fame because I know some of you wanna be famous. Um, so, okay, let's get it started. This little tool is for a bead to make the hole bigger. I used it on the cork and it went straight through and very easily. Just be a little careful because you know how cork can crumble a little. I used a four inch eye pin and stuck it through the bottom to the top, a lucky Chinese coin, a green bead, and then we're going to wire wrap the top of it. This, this talisman is for money. So we all need a little money here and there. So this is what this one is designed specifically for. And let me tell you, it does work. So let's hope that you have some of these beads and baubles um, in your bead collection. So you don't have to wrap it all the way around the bead, but I did, I thought it gave it kind of a little extra oomph. And then the way that I tightened it is I did a couple of little curly cues with um, my nose pliers and just twist it till it's firm. And then get into your embroidery floss and pull out the color that you think represents money or whatever your petition is that you're searching for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a recycled piece of paper and I'm going to write in print or cursive money because that's what I was thinking about when I was making this. And I printed it, I hand wrote it. And so basically rip the paper toward you. If you don't have a little one millimeter hand punch, then uh, use a needle or a pen, or you don't have to, you can let it float in the, the bottle. This is a pyrite stone and I, threaded the embroidery floss through it because the hole was big enough. Or you can put a needle through it and do it, but hey, we kind of need this money fast, right? Let's make this magical talisman work. So what I'm doing is I'm binding the petition to the pyrite. I'm going to tie it in a simple knot. I'm going to trim it. And then I'm going to fluff the edges of the thread so it can welcome in the money. And that's the whole idea behind this. So I'm using a feather and I wrote the information about the stones and the feathers and the objects that I'm using. So they'll be popping up here and there. So maybe you might want to write it down for whenever you give it as a gift to somebody. And that's my little charm box. Ooh, look at all those fun charms. Four leaf clover, wishbone. But for this specific talisman, I'm going to use the horseshoe and a little money bag charm. And I believe I purchased those on Amazon. Not sure. Um, I'm using a six millimeter jump ring to hold both of my charms. And also you might want to test to make sure the charms will go into the neck of the bottle because you don't want to create it and then it doesn't fit. So let's tighten that up. I'm watching this like I always do along with you all at the same time. I pre-recorded it and then added some of the information. So I'm looking at it at the same time like a lot of my videos, which I kind of like it that way. It's a little bit more fun. I'm watching it with you for the first time. So you want your charms to dance and shake, rattle and roll and bring in the fortune. I just love making these. These make splendid 
gifts for your friends and families and for maybe some of your school fairs or auctions that might be going on. Always make sure you add your name on the label whenever you're donating it or giving it as a gift. It makes it more precious and valuable to the person receiving the gift. Now, because the feather is a little bit long, I use my tool to poke it in. You can use whatever tool you have. And isn't that adorable? I'm loving it. Wow. So I'm going to use a cord here and I'm going to do an over the hand knot on the top of the eye pin. You don't have to if you're worried it might cover up your workmanship. I just like to do it sometimes because the talisman will hang at a point. And of course use a cord that is complementary to whatever you're putting inside of your bottle. Now I'm using super glue and this stuff sticks faster than you can say stick it. <laughs> but just be careful you don't get it on your manicure because it will definitely destroy it and don't put it between your fingers. So once it's in there, it is in there. That looks totally awesome. On this one, I didn't write money on both sides, but I would suggest that you write your petition on both sides of the paper because people will be looking at it from different angles. Oh, that looks so cool. Yes. Okay, there we go. It looks like that same clip came up again. So, okay, we're going to do another over the hand knot. That looks pretty awesome. I love it. I love these. They're just spectacular little pieces of artwork. Now, so the end doesn't look unfinished. I like to add additional charms. That one I added a little tiny uh, lucky Chinese coin. And then I'm doing an over the hand knot. Make sure you give yourself enough um, thread movement there. I didn't. But um, because I knew I was going to trim it and I just did it a little bit short. But you don't want it to hang that long, so trim some off. Now I'm going to attach a little gold coin that represents money again. And I'm making my jump ring cross over each other because since it's going to be dangling off of the end of the other side of your pull tab, you want it to stay firm. So I did another over the hand knot there. Or you can use one of those split ring jump rings if you have that on hand. Now I'm going to make a sliding knot. And to me, this is like magic. When I first learned how to do this, I was like, I can't believe it. I still amaze myself every time I do that. Just make sure you get it going the right direction because you want it to slide. You don't want it to get stuck. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I don't mean to keep pausing, but my phone is blowing up because I put it on mute. So put that through there and just watch this fabulous magic happen. This is the only magic I know. I wish I knew magic. But I do know how to put magic in the bottles. And these bottles have been very successful for me. And I want them to be successful for you. So I know a lot of people don't share their secrets, but you know what? It's not all a secret. 
when you have a gift, it's meant to be shared. And I'm sharing my gift with you. Bravo, look at that. That is super cool. You can probably hear my dogs running in the back. I love it, I la 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 love it. Now this is perfect for a unisex necklace. It's perfect for if you want to wear it long and dangling, or if you want to wear it as a choker. That's the option of the that particular knot. Or you could actually use one of those cords that they sell that's pre-made with the clasp. Now this is a different type of bottle. I really like this one. I think it's so cute. So that's a pheasant feather. I'm poking it through the pyrite and then I'm going to bend it over and I'm going to bind it with the green color floss. Now the embroidery floss is between 35 and 56 cents depending on where you're going. If it's on sale, Hobby Lobby, Joanne Fabrics, Michaels, or if you're going into your grandmother's embroidery floss box. So I punched a hole with it, with a one millimeter hole punch. If you don't have it, then cool, just use a needle or some type of pin that you can poke a nice hole. Look at that, that's awesome. Like I said before, always check to make sure your beads can go inside of the hole, uh, of the neck of the bottle because you don't want to choose a fabulous stone and then it doesn't fit. So there's a little money charm, the coin charm, the four inch eye pin, a lucky Chinese coin, citrine will bring the money in as well. It's also great to put in your office or business. If you own your own business, it will bring customers and success to your business. If you're working for someone that you really like, you can always carry a little piece in your pocket. And if you're on commission, bam, that money will be coming in. So I wrapped it. This one I'm going to do a little bit loose because I kind of like that loose look. You don't necessarily have to wrap it all the way around, like I said. You can trim it off at the neck after you do your nice wire wrapping loop. Again, make sure that the charm that you decide to use fits inside the bottle. Double check everything. Make sure it looks fabulous. I love that. So cool. Keep in mind, again, these are glass. Do, please do not drop it on the floor. They will break. Sometimes that is a good luck omen. It means that your wish came true. Now this is citrine points. These are clear quartz points. You can see how small they are. You can use any of your crystals to put in your little talisman bottle. This is a really cool bead that I found in my box of, I have tons of boxes of beads. Unfortunately, I don't know what the message is that is embossed on that wood bead, but I know it must be something lucky and powerful. It is red. Red is a power color. I'm using a fortune cookie charm. Actually, that one I did buy at Hobby Lobby. And every time they're on sale, or even when I'm there, I will buy all of them that they have hanging on the post. My customers love those. Sorry, my throat is a little raspy, kind of getting over a little cold being in this weird weather we're having here in California. Now this petition is I love you. This is a fabulous gift to give on Valentine's Day, Mother's Day to your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Stick a little heart charm on there. I did write it on both sides and I think I like it better when I write it on both sides. 
Just make sure that the paper you're using, that the permanent marker doesn't bleed through. This one, I'm going to use rose quartz because we all know that's for love and self-love and family love. I'm using a pink sparkly rondelle just to add a little bit of glitz. That looks so cool. This bottle is smaller than the other ones. You can put one or two items in there. It doesn't have to be a lot. This one has an Aura Rose Quartz. Fabulous. Oh my God, I love that. That one has two little tiny rosebuds. This one I took from my own Native American blood and my medicine bags. I thought, why not have a clear little uh, talisman. Usually medicine bags are very private, but sometimes things need to be out in the open. This is sage. It's a very purifying leaf. And some of you know that we love sage. I took a feather, sage, and a crystal. And this kind of was brought from when you're cleansing your home with your sage and your abalone. I do have a little tiny piece of abalone that I was thinking of um, using, as you can see in the background, as part of the one of the elements. And I found that it was just so beautiful and delicate that I didn't want it to accidentally get shattered. So... I put it on it for the video, but I did take it off. I'm just going to set it in my little altar because it is so cute. Those are little bone beads, African uh, dyed batik beads with the eye. The eye deflects evil. This is a little arrowhead. Oh my gosh, I love that. I know the abalone looks fabulous on there, but I just didn't want it to break. This one is a little, oh, I used um, a little garnet on the top. Oh my God, that was so cool. I, I just love creating and I hope that you guys love creating too. That's a hematite Buddha at the top, a laughing Buddha. And that's one of just my generic cords that I ordered from Amazon. If you order probably like a hundred, you can get them for like 10 cents each. Those are little citrine pieces inside. That was a citrine stone that I had and unfortunately it broke, but save all of the little pieces. I even saved the citrine dust because, hey, it's still bringing in the fortune. Oh my God, that looks so cool. I'm loving myself right now for making these cool things. I hope you guys like them as much as I do. And please send me some cool pictures of what you make. I need to make an amulet for fame, like I said, because I know some of you must be heading to Hollywood, California. Why am I singing? God, I can't sing. I'll save that for you guys. Look at the fortune cookie. And that hand has a little um, Buddha face on it. And that's Jade. Oh my gosh. I just love those. Well, you guys have a fabulous day. And please share your ideas with me. And, or not, it's okay. Because some of our ideas in the beginning have to just be for ourselves. But you know what? I've had a lot of success and I want to share it with you. So bravo. You guys have a happy day. And thank you for taking the time to spend with me and check out my Etsy store and my Instagram. Okay. Thanks. Have a happy day. Bye.